Today we're going to replace the upstream NOx sensor on this 2019 F250 with a 6.7 power stroke engine. Now we've got a couple different trouble codes here for this, or one reoccurring one. So we've gone through our diagnostics, and now it's time to replace the unit itself. So as we can see, it comes with the control module, which we're going to loop around. It goes over the frame, and it's actually connected outside of the frame. So the first thing we need to do is actually uh, remove the unit from the exhaust. Now you can see the location here. We're kind of near the transfer case. There's an upstream and a downstream one, similar to maybe how we would find an oxygen sensor. So I'm going to take my 7-8 wrench and break this thing loose. And this truck with close to 300,000 miles on it, relatively clean, and this came loose. Obviously, we've got this cooled down now, so we're not worried about burning our fingers. But I'm going to just thread this out. And then we will get the the rest of it removed. So just a quick little call out where the NOx sensor was mounted on the other side of this. Here we've got the DEF injector. Just wanted to note kind of the proximity of the location. But now as we look on the outside of the frame rail, we can see the rest of the component we need to replace here. So I'm just going to take my pry bar. It's just held on by some plastic push pins here. And so we will pop those up off of there disconnected from the frame. I'm going to disconnect the electrical connector and there's a couple hold downs above the frame. We're going to move that out and we're ready to install the new one. Okay, so we've got the old one off. We've uh, put the retainers back in the frame. So now I'm going to take my new sensor and I will pass it up over the frame rail. And so we've got one little retainer clip that goes on top of the frame rail here. To kind of hold that wiring in place but then we will situate the unit here and we'll kind of push it into place it's locked in now we will make the electrical connection make sure it clicks it's locked itself into place there now i will make my connection on top of the frame then we're ready to thread the unit back into the exhaust all right so we we'll start here of course, this threads in nice, clean, and easy. So we've got it in place. Take my wrench and get it tightened up. Now, all we have to do is go back inside of the scan tool. We're going to clear the trouble codes. We're going to drive this thing. It's always a good idea, probably, to do a regen at the same time, reset any parameters, verify that it's working properly before we give it back to the customer.